This video is sponsored by Videoblocks. Hello, I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to do some advanced Hollywood color grading in Adobe After Effects. I know After Effects isn't really the place to do your color grading, but sometimes I just prefer to work with After Effects because I know After Effects a lot better. After out there, I tried things in there, but I just kept getting my best results in Adobe After Effects. Of course, if you are going to grade for TV, uh, make sure that everything is on point. Uh, so you will need the scopes that you get in other software. Uh, which you don't have in Adobe After Effects. But here After Effects is only for grading, not for color correcting. And there is a big difference between the two. Color correcting is getting your footage to look right. And color grading is to give your footage a style. So a style, most of the time you're not going to overexpose it or underexpose anything because it's, because it's right after you have been doing the color correction. So that being said, I imported my footage here, which I downloaded from videoblocks.com. And Videoblocks is actually a website where you can download 100% royalty free stock footage. So you can find video footage on there and After Effects templates as well. So if you are interested in that, go and check out their website and you will see what they can offer to you. So um, I got this footage from their website and if you want to follow along with this tutorial, click on the link in the description. This will be the link to this footage and you can sign up for a free trial in video blocks and then you will be able to download this footage as well. So if you want to follow along with the exact same footage, yeah, make sure you start a trial on video blocks and then you will be able to follow along. But you can also follow along the tutorial and yeah, just use my techniques on different footage because yeah, it's actually um, playing around with your effects and playing around with the settings and each time you will get different results but each different result can result in great results for a different footage and I'm not sure if that sounds... <laughs> But listening to myself, this sounds a little crazy, so just let's get started and import our footage. So I'll create a new composition right here, make sure it's full HD, so 1920 by 1080p. Because currently this is still the standard, but it's going to change to 4K eventually. Um, but for now I will be using full HD. And then the frame rate, we can change it to 24 and yeah, make something like 10 seconds long. There we go, and rename this to main comp. I will open my footage right here and pick a frame that I like. So I like this part, so I'm going to start over here, move ahead a few seconds and end it here. And then I'll just add it to um, my composition right here. And I can see this is actually too short, so I'm going to make it longer. And there we go. So right now I'm going to scale down my footage just a bit so it's completely in the composition. We will have two black borders but that's not too bad because afterwards we're going to um, make it a widescreen display. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, right click here and add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to uh, rename this to basic grading. Over here I will go to effects, color correction, hue and saturation and get my saturation here to minus 20. And then I will go to effect, color correction, curves and I won't be touching the contrast curve here um, because that you should do in the color correction version. So before you start grading, color correct your footage first. If you don't know how to do that, seek some tutorials. You're watching one right now. so. I'm sure you will find one and it's not too hard to find. Um, so here I'm going to the red channel and I'm going to push the red channel in the highlights but I'm going to bring it down in the shadows but not too much just like over here. I will have to see something like this seems about right and if we toggle it on and off we will see that we have added much more uh, warmth in our scene but it's a little bit but it's a little bit too red right now. So to solve that, I'm going to the blue channel and by taking away the blues, it's going to turn more orangey. So we can see right here, it comes more orange and in the shadows, I'm going to push them just a notch and it's going to become more blue. So uh, what I want to get is some color contrast. So I want this to become more to the blue side and this to keep it uh, and, and this to, to stay orange. So right here, I'm also going to bring up the blues here for the shadows and just play around with it. 
and there we go and for the greens we can also add some contrast so you can see if you play around in the shadows uh, we want it to become a little bit more purple and then in the highlights we want it to become more green so now we have some nice color contrast still right over here uh, we need some more blue so let's go back to the blue channel and see what we can do to fix this um, I think this is okay and then for the reds we can bring them down in the highlights also and right now we have blue over here and more orange over here so what you can do now is close this down and close the hue and saturation down as well go to effects and go to sharpen blur and sharpen go to unsharp mask so change the amount to 150 and the radius to 2 and that's going to give a little bit more detail in the edges here so that's going to uh, get a little bit better contrast uh, for our character and then I'm going to duplicate it and change the radius to 25 and then just uh, lower the amount until it's um, barely noticeable uh, but that's going to give some more detail as you can see um, in everything so it's going to give it a little bit better uh, it's going to give a pretty cool effect here so uh, around 30 is okay so it's not too much everything should be very subtle make sure you don't exaggerate things uh, so yeah this is uh, pretty nice for the for the Enchart mask and then I'm going to right click add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to call this vignette and for most people they are already going to know what we're going to do we're going to choose the ellipse tool and drag an ellipse like so and go over here and change it to a subtract then go to effects color correction and curves again and we're going to lower it right over here press F on the keyboard and feather it out enough something like this and this is an exaggerated uh, example you can see uh, just to give you an idea what it's actually doing it's giving a little bit more contrast towards the edges and um, but that way the center of the frame gets more attention so I'm going to lower it down just a little bit more so it's a, a little bit more subtle uh, so you can see uh, like so also I'm going to take away some of the reds because the uh, reds are really taking over and are really prominent uh, so that's not what I want and, and I'm going to take him away and that way we can bring it down a little bit more um, because yeah the red was just uh, too obvious in my opinion so there we go this looks all right and now we get some nice um, yeah uh, yellow and sign colors here and it's like in the Miami movies uh, it's getting a little bit more color contrast over here so if we're going to look to the original and to the graded one we will see more contrast in the colors and it gets a lot more rich in my opinion another thing you can try is add a new adjustment layer final grading and here you can go to effects color correction and play around with the vibrance see what that is doing and it's going to bring up all the colors except for the orange and red tones so uh, especially the skin tones and that way you can isolate some colors as well so give more detail to the blues and it's also giving a nice touch you can also go to the color correction hue and saturation and change individual colors uh, for this scene maybe the yellows and bring it out just a little bit more towards the orange and the greens and that way you can bring up the uh, saturation for the greens and you can see uh, that's really doing a nice thing here maybe less of the orange here but give it a nice feather so by stretching out these arrows here we're going to have a nice feather and that way you're not going to notice too much of the difference but just make sure you change everything very nicely also what you can do is um, change your composition settings to 16 bits per channel this is not always going to help but in most cases it does help a little bit in my opinion especially if you're working with a lot of effects on top of each other you're going to get more information in the colors and that way you're going to get better results so 16 works enough for me and there is no need to change it to 32 by uh, to change this hold alt and click on it and then you will see until you see 16 or click on it and change this to 16 and click OK. So that's what I have done and actually I should have said that in the beginning of this tutorial but uh, hopefully that's not too bad right now. The final grading we will also add a 
noise and grain and we are going to add some grain and here we are going to change the viewing mode to final output and you're going to see it's exaggerated again so there is a lot of grain here going on if you toggle it on and off um, but we're going to change the intensity to 0 0.1 and change the, uh, the size to 0 0.05 and that way it's going to have a subtle grain um, but that's going to help a lot I think um, maybe the intensity can change to 2 and if you toggle it on and off you're going to see a very small difference um, but it's going to help uh, in the screen overlay it's going to give it a more filmic look and everything is going to blend better together also if you have like um, some bending going on uh, some bending going on in your footage uh, noise can save it a little bit and make it more uh, subtle so yeah, I always like to add some grain to my final output and as long as it's subtle, it's not going to look like a noisy footage, it's going to look like film and Hollywood video footage. Sometimes you can also isolate the uh, head here, so we can add a new adjustment layer and rename this to head and then we're going to the, uh, the start of our timeline here and go to the ellipse tool and just select his head like so something like this here and we're going to affect color correction curves and we're going to bring this up a little bit too much and then we're going to the red channel bring this up as well and the blue channel and bring this down as well so now we get some orange tone on his face and you're going to see the difference now it's pretty harsh um, but the color is more like in the movies people their faces are always more towards the orange tones um, because yeah mostly the shadows are blue and that's and that way it's going to give enough contrast in their colors so uh, now we have an orange tone we can press F on the keyboard and feather out the mask just a bit so you can see that it's coming out of the mask so if we change it to 50 uh, we click on the adjustment layer press M then M M on the keyboard so double tap M and if you bring down the expansion it's going to bring itself down and then you can uh, play with it like minus 15 should work I guess and that way if you're going to toggle it on and off it's only going to affect the face and you can really take your time and mask it even better so if you want uh, to include his neck here you can also do that And there we go and you can see uh, instantly you're going to notice uh, that if you uh, if you're going to examine this with uh, actual movies um, this one is the way to go so we're going to click on our mask path here go to the end of our footage and then just adjust the mask towards his face so like so get in the middle of our timeline and move it again and then just keep doing this until you have almost no animation left okay and because he's running you're going to have to check each frame but most of the times if someone is walking and their head is in a, a even motion and then you're not going to have to check each frame but right now uh, there is a lot of animation going on so we'll have to do this by hand also, if someone has like a very exceptional skin tone, uh, like more towards red or orange and the scene colors are like blue, you can isolate their color by using the hue and saturation and isolating the colors over there. Um, but this isn't going to work um, for this face. So we are almost done doing uh, the mask here for our face. What you can also do is track uh, your face, but I find that sometimes you just put more effort into tracking than just doing it by hand very quickly, um, because you can do it very roughly. As you can see, I'm not going around his face completely. I'm just doing a very rough uh, estimate of his face. And most of the time this works as good as uh, a perfect mask. Okay, so we have his face right here and everything should be alright. 
And if we're going to toggle it on and off, we're going to see a big difference. Uh, so I'm going to fit it to 100% and see how it really gives a nice touch to our footage and it just looks like in an actual movie, uh, just by changing his head and making it a little bit more orange. You can do the exactly same thing with the background and just start masking out things. So sometimes you just gotta cheat. Not everything is doing curves and you're done. So sometimes if you really want to look into the details and make it look great, we're going to have to use masks. And uh, like right over here, you can do the same thing for the background. Also feather it enough so then you're not going to make it look so obvious. And then just like darken it a little bit because the dark background is a little bit bright. And then also add like blue and take away some reds. Maybe not so dark, but you get the idea. And if we're going to feather it enough, you're going to see a big difference again. And yeah, that's how you should do it. Just playing around with masks and build it, build up masks, stack it up and just make it look great. It's a green, add a little bit green. So it's a more sign color, well, more Miami Vice color. <laughs> and there we go. And this is looking a lot better in my opinion. So you can duplicate the mask adjustment layer, mask, delete the first mask, and then just uh, do it for the bottom part here. And yeah, just to give you some ideas of what is possible. So I'm just doing this tutorial to illustrate the possibilities of color grading and that not everything should be done uh, by the book. Uh, so to get some great results, sometimes you just gotta cheat a little bit. And yeah, who didn't cheat in school, so. Bring down here so we have more orangey colors and press F on the keyboard and feather it out enough. And of course you will need to animate some things and it's going to be time consuming, especially for some particular scenes. Um, but tell me that this doesn't look better than the original scene if we're going to look back and right now. So now, right now we actually have a Hollywood movie color grading in my opinion. So of course this is all opinion based. So if you think it's not that great, let me know in the comments below. If you think it is, also let me know in the comments below. So once you have done everything, we can go to layer pre-compose and make it a color grade uh, Hollywood composition. And then we're going to change the composition settings to 800 in height and the width we are going to keep uh, the same width here so we're going to uncheck the lock aspect ratios and right now we have a 2 by 40 uh, aspect ratio and if we click OK uh, we're going to reposition it just a little bit so like this and then we're going to use this footage so we're actually going to take this uh, footage here take it into a new composition right click in this composition and just rename it to full HD, change the height back to 1080p and that way you will see how it will look uh, if it's on screen. So now we have these black borders and that's also really cool. So to export it, um, just export the main comp. So this is actually the final comp. This is just to preview what your results will look like. So. This is how to do the grading. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below and give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And thank you so much for watching and goodbye.